Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a goth look. I was originally going to do something more creepy but I don't know what happened. This is what happened. I guess I'll just show you what I intended to do in the next video. But for now let's get into how to make this look. So I'm just going to pale out my face with Maron Paradise paint in white and I'm putting that all over my face and my neck and my chest, my shoulders, you know, anything that's showing of skin. I'm just using some creation from Lime Crimes Venus palette over the crease of my eyelid and I'm just lightly going to brush that over and then I'm going to put some NYX Jumble Pencil and Milk on the ends of my eyebrows. That way I don't have to shave them off, just to lighten up those hairs. And now I'm going to go into my crease again with Power from Bad Habit. And I'm just going to blend it out just to make it a little bit more pigmented and have it ready for when I use Heartbreak from Bad Habit's Aphrodite palette. And with the small brush, I'm just going to shape out the outline that I want, which is around the eye crease and underneath my lash line. And on the inner corners, I'm just gonna flick it out. I'm not gonna go into the lash line. And with another small brush, I'm just going to blend it out and soften up those edges. And you wanna be careful with this black because it's really pigmented and a little can go anywhere. So now I'm gonna use Wolf FX Black paint on my eyelids and just fill everything in. It doesn't really stay too well on my eyelids, so later I'm going to powder that with some black. But I'm just making the shape for the wing on the top side and before I start doing the wing on the bottom. And you want to take your time doing this because they have to be symmetrical and really thin in those corners. And with my fluffy brush, I'm just blending that out so that it doesn't look like harsh face paint lines. And now I'm going to go in with Heartbreak and powder my eyelids just so that it doesn't look so patchy. With some Maron paint that I have on my brush, I'm just going to try to clean up a little bit of the feathering that I did. I blended it out down a little too much, so I'm just cleaning up any of the shadow just to make it a little bit more clean and sharp. And with the small brush, just blend it out a little bit with the heartbreak. And now that I've fixed it, I'm going to go in with some Jealousy from the Aphrodite palette and just put it in the inner corners of it. Right now, I'm just reviewing everything and making little touch-ups on any of the sharp lines, making sure that they're symmetrical or even. And now we're going to do the lips. I'm using the same brush, which is a flat angled brush, and I'm just going to paint my lips with the Wolf FX paint. And I mixed some Heartbreak and Koi from the Aphrodite palette to make this gray color. And I'm just going to put it on as contour for my cheekbones, my nose, and my neck, just so that there's a little more dimension and I don't look like a flat pancake. And I'm not going to blend so much on the neck because it's going to be covered by my choker, even though I probably should have, so this video could look a little bit more professional, but whatever. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to be pointing them more slanted than they usually are, so kind of like they're pointing downwards or pointing upwards, however you want to look at it. And I'm just drawing out the outlines of it first and then filling them in. And I'm leaving the inner corners a little bit free. So I can put some koi and then some heartbreak in there just to feather it out a bit and make it look a little more ombre. And I'm using these Ardell Wispy Lashes. They are the worst kind because they always stick on too fast so they look kind of dumb. But this is all I have for right now. Last thing is your choker. And there you have it, your gothic makeup look. My next video coming up, I'm going to show you how to do another look based on this. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can keep up and, or follow me on all my social media. I post there too, you know, mostly on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye!